But our top story tonight, the voting for phase three of the Lok Sabha elections of 2024 has concluded. Remember, 93 states, uh, 93 seats across 12 states went to the polls. Among those who were, whose fortunes are being tested is Union Home Minister Amit Shah, Prime Minister Narendra Modi casting his vote in Gandhinagar, where Mr. Shah is fighting. Prime Minister meeting local citizens there, signing even a few autographs. The Pawar family also casting their vote in Baramati, where Sharad Pawar's daughter Supriya Sule is facing a challenge from Ajit Pawar's wife Sunetra Pawar. Very low voter turnout, I can tell you, there in Baramati. Then we went down south in Karnataka, where the Yedurappa family voted in Shivamoga, where, of course, his son is contesting Congress President Malikarjun Karge, casting his vote in Kalaburgi. Jyotiraditya Sindhya, who's hoping to reclaim Guna, got his fingers inked in Gwalior, his traditional bastion. In Uttar Pradesh, Akhilesh Yadav and his wife Dimple Yadav cast their vote in Seifai, which falls in their family bastion of Manpuri, where Dimple is contesting from. So, plenty of big seats that were on the radar in this phase. Just to give you what the turnout was, and remember, these are all provisional figures that will be revised in the days ahead. Phase 3 turnout as of now, 2014 was 65.8% in these seats. 2019 was 67.2% in these seats 2024 and this is by 8 p.m was 61.45 so effectively turnout this time is a slightly lower compared to the elections of 2014 and 19 substantially lower but i say slightly because these numbers will get revised in the days ahead either way we haven't seen a high voter turnout yet again is it the heat is it indifference and what does all of this say Korn Jitega 2024, we are at the halfway point, 283 of the 543 seats in the country have now voted and the question arises, what are the early trends that we are now picking up in this Lok Sabha election? That's the big question that I'm going to be raising and I'm going to be joined by top pollsters and political scientists. In my studio is ace pollster uh, Pradeep Gupta, Axis My India is the man who's hoping to tell us that he gets it right this time. Yashwan Deshmukh of Sea Voter is joining me. He's been doing a lot of tracker polls as well. Rahul Varma of the Center for Policy Research is joining me. What I did with all three of them, before they came to the studio, I asked them to pick their trends or give me their key takeaways. So I'm going to play them on the screen as they give me their trends. Pradeep, why don't you start first? What are the trends that you picked up as we've entered the halfway point? We're not going into numbers just yet. Although if, you're, if I push comes to shove, you're welcome to stick your neck out. But what are the big trends you picked up so far, Pradeep, in an election that's reached the halfway stage? See, Rajdeep, when it comes to India, that for that matter, Lok Sabha election, India is too big a country. Everybody knows that. Now, coming to these three phases... So there are you five... pick caste leadership voter yeah, so turnout. So I am coming to that the yes. caste leadership and voter turnout, how it is plays out in the outcome of any uh, electoral results. Mm -hmm. See Uttar Pradesh. What is most important? What is the X factor? Of course, caste plays the vital role. Mm -hmm. But how BSP will perform will depend a lot. The outcome will depend on that lot. When you go to West Bengal, in mm -hmm. Uttar Pradesh also and Bengal and Bihar. All seven faces have some seats, right? Mm -hmm. So in when you go to Bihar, it is all depend how the Muslim goat gets split or consolidate. I mean, that is where it lies. There also kind of a caste or whatever you call it, religion. Then you go to Maharashtra, big state, again 48 seats. In Maharashtra, there are always the regional, this thing. In Vidharva, Kunbi and Dalits decides decisive factor. When you go to Marathwada or the Western Maharashtra or the Southern Maharashtra, Marathas are very important. So this is what it plays out how even today the Baramati, it will all depend how Marathas are voting, whether they are voting in favor of UBT, Udhav Thakre and uh, S. Sarat Pawar's uh, NCP and Congress Gadbandan or other way, the Mahayuti. So that is also important. When you go to a state like Bihar, again, big state with 40 seats, there it is very important this time particularly how Janta Dal is performing. 
It, a lot will depend on how Janta Dal is performing, meaning whether Kurmi, Kuri, all these lower caste Mahadalit voters are still intact with Janta Dal or Nitish you're, Kumar. You are referring to matter. Nitish Kumar, JDU. Nitish, Nitish Kumar, of course, Nitish Kumar. So, all these regional big states has a lot to do and all... So you put caste at number one, number two you put leadership. That's what are what you saying about leadership? Are you saying that are, are, is, your, is your tracker suggesting that individual leaders matter in states or is this a national election? See, though it is a national election, but we all know that in Bengal, you cannot rule out Mamta Banerjee, how she is performing, that is very important. When you go to Uttar Pradesh, such a big state, we all know that it all depends on the Samajwadi party and that too, Akhilesh Yadav and Mayavati. If you go to Maharashtra, again, these are the Sarat Pawar. I mean, without Sarat Pawar, can you imagine the situation in Maharashtra, particularly election, the kind of NCP or even for that matter, UBT, uh, this time alliance. So you're seeing state leaderships playing a role in this election? Of course, yes. The third factor because, is... Because there is hardly any leadership or a magnet in Congress fold on a national level. Very this is the reason why these re regional chhatras, particularly in the fold of India, India Alliance, they have to play a very vital role. So are you if saying that Rahul Gandhi is not as important because there was a sense that Narendra Modi was the face across 543 constituencies for the BJP. With the opposition, are you saying it's much more dependent on state level leaders? Am I right? Absolutely, you are right because you have to have a magnet, the voter puller. As you rightly mentioned that Narendra Modi is one side. Who is there the other side? So they have to depend on the regional chhatraps. Third is voter turnout. Can yeah. we decipher the fact is voter turnout has been lower than 2019. What does that suggest to you? See, there are two things. One is that the uh, approximately last time there are total electors was 89 crores. This time they have risen to 97 crores. So there is a big, the, the moment your total base increases, the voter turnout or the percentage is likely to dip for sure, without a single percent doubt on that. But in last 20 years, nobody can say with conviction, voter turnout, low voter turnout is good or bad for the incumbent government. There is no study which suggests. So, and in this election particularly, there is a common phase in the, in the hinterland or on the ground. What they say? वो बोलते हैं कि बीजेपी का वोटर जो नहीं आ रहा है इसलिए कि बीजेपी तो जीती रही है और अपोजिशन का इसलिए नहीं आ रहा है कि उनको ये तो पता ही है हम तो हार ही रहे तो हम अपना वोट कहां जाके खराब करें।